Hey guys, my name is Pabloon and welcome back to another video, aka Bobloon. I can't really figure out which, what name I'm using, but here we're talking about Nikolai Kuznetsov, which is a very good commander that you can get for free right now using the personal challenges. And I'm just going to go over how that works. So the way the personal challenges work is you can get these amazing rewards if you... Oh yeah, you can get the Poltava, by the way. You can get the Pol Poltava, a tier 7 premium battleship, a great battleship I've heard. And you can get an amazing commander. All you need to do is you need to complete six games with one nation. And you'll start at level one, then you go to level two just by playing a battle. And you'll get 1800 points or target uh, 1800 or whatever. The point you get two points, it looks like, not target. And you can do that with every nation for every class of ship. So there's a lot of points to be gained. And it's ultimately free. So the commander here, Kuznetsov, I think the best ship for it is Moskva. And maybe not a lot of you people have Moskva, but there's definitely a lot of people that also do, since it was a tech tree ship, and you could gain it for free. I don't use the dispersion mod on Moskva, as you can see, and that is why I think the Kuznetsov commander here is the best commander, because Moskva doesn't need precise aiming or dispersion mod, because it has precise aiming. It, it's three uses of precise aiming too, and when you combine that with Kuznetsov, it works out very well. First of all, if you don't have a sonar on the ship, so Underwater Protection Expert Plus is nice just to have less damage. And this is why I don't take Dispersion Mod, because you get Artillery Maintenance Expert Plus, which gives you a 20% main battery traverse speed and 4% decrease to your shell dispersion at 75, at above 75%. You also get the Sixth Sense with, which is, I mean, when you're playing a big cruiser, it's very nice to have. You know when there's a DD looking at you, you know when there's a BB looking at you, stuff like that. I don't take Fire Supremacy, you don't need 4 Precise Aiming, you'd rather have Survivalist because then you can use it together with Fully Prepared instead of Marksman and then you can have a very very tanky setup for your Moskva, which trust me, you want. Fully Prepared Plus is a really nice skill. Then next up we have the you know these normal skills here, then comes Honor Seeker Plus, which I mean, it, it works on any ship, right? But getting medals on Moskva ain't that hard, I mean you get big calibers pretty often I would say and juggernauts and stuff like that and of course the cream of the cream de la creme the bulletproof negative 5% damage caused by enemy shells that's just flat out damage decreation guys now obviously this commander is amazing on Kremlin but I don't have Kremlin and I will say this I've tried it and uh, trust me guys it's it's good it's good putting Kuznetsov on Kremlin works just like Moskva I would kind of like I would you know, compare it to Kremlin being Moskva's bigger brother. And when you look at the legendary mod, and like I said, it also has precise aiming, the, this thing just gets benefited so much from Kuznetsov. And when I do get Kremlin, I'm going to put it on here, because Moskva, I'm pretty adept with this ship, so I don't need Kuznetsov on it anymore to to make it good, because really, Moskva's good. Kremlin would definitely benefit from the help of Kuznetsov. I have tried it, and on stream, trust me, you are tanky. Now, if... An enemy assailant is good at aiming, you know, it doesn't really matter, but then you have the 5% damage reduction, which always helps. Now, let's get into this game here that I'm talking about, where we're going to brawl an FDG. There are quite a few bots in this, but it's early on the Sunday afternoon here in Europe, so not a lot of people are playing. But to put this very simply, I think Nikolai Kuznetsov is a legendary commander that is used on heavy cruisers and battleships. The reason for it is because he boosts tankiness and survivability. That is pretty much the gist of it. And you could also argue that the commander would go great on Stalingrad. Definitely. I think it's the same kind of deal as Moskva. Except I think Moskva is just a lot more flexible. It does a lot more things than the Stalingrad does. It can brawl. It can hunt DDs a lot easier and stuff like that. So I, that's why I pick Moskva. I also generally just like the ship more than Stalingrad. Some other ships that I do recommend him on is Pyotr Bagration. Um, the tier 8 weird you know, Soviet heavy cruiser type ship. I think, you know, you, I know where I'm going with this. Any kind of tanky, that something that wants to be tanky could benefit from this. Like, you think Moskva wants to be a little bit tanky, but in reality it's not. It's still a cruiser. With this commander, it helps. Same with the Bagration. It would definitely help that as well. But this commander is not like Pat Makarov, where you're going to see insane citadels uh, because you don't get APCS or you don't get the citadel strike or the the last 12th skill plus either you don't you don't get any 
damaging enhancing skills. You only get damage decreasing skills. So that's what you got to think of it as. And the positioning we're taking here is in between a lot of bots, but trust me, there's going to be some BB action here in this game. And the gameplay is not, you know, anything special. It's just more to have something in the background as an example, right? Now, let's talk about the Poltava. It's actually a ship that I don't have. So in reality, I should really be grinding for it, but I just haven't really been um, had the I haven't had the time to play Blitz these past couple of months and you know even though the personal challenges are amazing I, I'm just not you know a BB player so I won't, I won't be inclined as much to grind the Poltava but if I did not have the legendary commander I was one one thing is for sure I was going to be grinding this free this challenge thing this personal challenges like I said I think this is amazing and um, and I'm very happy to see Wargaming include some more free stuff because like let's be honest Kuznetsov has been in this game for a long time and so many players have it because they wailed for it. Maybe it's time that, you know, the free-to-play player base gets some... Well, something that keeps them in the meta, basically. Because, let's be honest here, legendary commanders do help a lot. It's subtle changes, but it's something that you as an enemy will never know if a an enemy has a legendary commander. You cannot know. This Mecklenburg here cannot know. He, he won't know if I have Kuznetsov or not. And look at this weird turning he's doing. Now, I don't want to hack your station, anybody, but is that hacking or is that lagging? Because he looks like a bot when he's turning. I'm going to, you know, put it up to lag, but it still look, did look very sus. Now, I mean, what, why I love the Port Moscow is just look at the consistency in these guns. This is, like I said, where you don't need dispersion mod. You definitely don't need dispersion mod. And especially if you put this commander on. I mean, if I was to train him on a line or a ship, I think the best commander trainer for this would be maybe the Poltava, actually. I mean, I don't know. I can't think of a really good commander trainer for this, except the this, the Moskva. But putting a, you know, a fresh commander on a tier 10 is not regarded as a ca captain trainer ship, right? So if you have the Pyotr, ba Pyotr Bagration, put it on there. But I would say maybe the Chapayev could actually benefit from this. I haven't tried it, but I think Chapayev could be pretty fun with this commander on. There's some stuff to do, but it's, it is kind of limited with Kuznetsov. So if you don't have any of these heavy cruisers, maybe you should think about getting some heavy cruisers. Um, problem is now the Moskva and Stalingrad are... Well, at least the Moskva is now a premium, so it doesn't it cost money now. But if you don't have anything against spending money, and you end up having the Moskva or getting the Moskva, this, the commander fits very well. Um, I, I don't really know other ships to put it on. I would love to hear what you guys think. Um... Because let's, let's face it, you know, the Soviet tech tree has a lot of the same stuff. You can't really put it on Smolensk, and Chapayev is kind of a stretch. But the thing is, if you... Oh, let's be, maybe Black Chapayev, actually. I just realized Black Chapayev has rapid reload. Oh, you could also put it on Black Talon. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, Black Talon or the normal Talon, I guess. But the, the Black Talon has rapid reload. Um, or does it? I'm remembering wrong here, but yeah, I'm, I'm going off a tangent here, guys. There's not really that much you can put it on in the Soviet tech tree, to be honest. Um, or I guess there is, actually. It's just that he doesn't fit anything specifically perfectly. He just kind of fits all the Soviet ships in some regard. I mean, you could even you could even put it on Nakimov, I think. I mean, it, it would imagine that. Actually, it would be kind of good on Nakimov. <laughs> you get extra healing, you get Honor Seeker, you get... Yeah, I mean, you get what I mean here. It's just it buffs everything. He's an all-around good commander, and you see, we don't we only lost half HP in a brawl versus an FDG. I just want to preface that that's an FDG that we brawled. We lost no HP to pretty much. That's the power of the commander, guys, and um, that's pretty much the video. I don't have much more else to say, but some of you have asked me where you think you should put this commander, and I guess the best thing to say is he he fits on pretty much everything. If you think about it you know it's all defensive skills it's it's he's got the sixth sense which is really good for you know ships that don't want to get tanked uh, tank you know don't want to tank don't want to take H damage too much he's got the healing skills if you want to take some damage and he's got the bulletproof skill because then you just don't take you just take five percent less less damage i mean overall it's i wouldn't say it's op but flat five percent flat is very good i mean if you think about it Moskva has 50,000 HP, almost, 49, and 5% of that, that means there's 2,500 damage less we take overall. 
So that's pretty good. Like that's 2,500, 2,500 HP that we're saving in those 5%. And that's that's kind of worth it if you look at it. If let's say a Vermont Salvo does 10k damage, well then it's 500 HP you, see, you save. I mean, it's not a lot, but you can see it adds up. So yeah, that is Nikolai Kuznetsov, a very, very good overall commander. He's he boosts everything on your ship while you don't really have to think about it. It's a, it's a no-brain commander. You just put it on and he's just there. And this uh, Somers here is going to go down with a beautiful HE salvo. I mean, the, the, the Moskva HP ain't bad, guys. Please don't neglect it. All, oh, you probably Those of you who played the Moskva know the, the dreadful mission 300 fires, which makes no sense. But the HE ain't bad on DDs. It, it's not bad. But there you go, 105k damage. It wasn't really the damage it was about. It was more the brawl with the FDG that you guys saw that Kuznetsov definitely helped us in that brawl. So that's it. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks on how to utilize this commander, how to maximize Kuznetsov. He is, like I said, a, a pretty overall good commander that it fits on mostly any Russian ship because it's not a... He's not specified to a single ship, he is very, very universal. And I think, like I said, Moskva, Krell, Kremlin, BBs and heavy cruisers is where he shines. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name has been Bubbly, aka Paplu, and I am signing out.